Sin number two is unclear sensory feedback, also known as can't bloody tell what's going on. <laughs> no, the most squit, isn't it? I'm going to be demonstrating this with Graffiti Man on the Atari ST, which is a bit of a cheat, because uh, there are better games on the... So I've got a really good example on the Amiga, but you try emulating an Amiga on a laptop with HDMI out, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to ask for a volunteer from the audience. Who would like to play Graffiti Man? Me! He does. <laughs> Go on, then. Come up, sir. What's your name? Niall. Hello, Niall. Have you ever played Graffiti Man on the Atari ST before? No. I feel for you. <laughs> and soon we all will. I've got no idea how we're going to do this with a microphone. I'll just kind of stand here. Right, I'm going to get up and running. Oh, that's nice. The Pasty DLL is in... Oh, the Pasty DLL is still in the preliminary beta version. If everybody can make a note of that, <laughs> there will be a quiz later. George Quick hasn't uh, done anything on it since 2006, though. There we are. And now Windows is paranoid. This is getting better. It knows we're going to play Graffiti Man. There we are. We got there. That's clear enough, isn't it? Right. Can you hear the music? Yeah. Let's make it a bit louder. I regret doing that. <laughs> right. Niall, if you wish to take the hot seat... Um, I'm going to have to hover over your shoulder like a weird uncle, I apologise. Um, <laughs> these are the controls. Left, right, up, down. Okay. There we are. If you wish to put your right or left hand, depending how you work, that's it. There's no shooting or anything. It's nice and simple. And I think to start, you just press uh, a button. There we are. It will go straight into the game. Good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> the idea is to run from the left side of the screen to the right. Okay. Here's the karate load. It does, certainly does. They come off floppy disks. There we go. There you are, the graffiti man in black there, running along. <laughs> He's doing well. There's a weird man coming behind him, and oh, you physically exploded. <laughs> <laughs> and we start again. Can you tell what's going on? People are running in the street. That is literally all you can get from this. And again, you've been hit from something from behind you couldn't quite work out. <laughs> I'm really glad you went down first. Most people in play go up or to the right, and they die within a second. I've also just noticed the old man's firing out walking games. Oh, bad luck! Game over. That's it. Did you enjoy your time with Graffiti Man? <laughs> Has it enriched your life? I can't, no, it's too hard. <laughs> is exactly the lesson to learn. Thank you very much, mate. I wish you uh, sit down. <laughs> Good work. So, as you can tell, you can't tell what's going on. You just start off, it's a mass of the most ugly cartoon characters this side of a French novel. And, um, you just, well, I've practiced this game, and I'm now going to show you what happens when you can put on light. I'm going to try and show you what happens. So, Niall had it quite right. You have to go down first. It's all a bit of one of those, a um, bit of a memory test, more than, say, something you could physically enjoy. <laughs> down we go. The idea is that this uh, main graffiti man character wants to join a graffiti gang, for reasons uh, I have no understanding of, and that, for some reason, involves running through ugly and incredibly dangerous neighbourhoods. <laughs> so, we're going to go here, and now I'm going to go up and around. Oh, no, I got slightly close to the old man, which causes the graffiti man to explode. I don't know what ailment he has, but I really hope I never catch it. Right, up we go. Down again. Okay, oh yeah, I'm going to go for this. There we are. There's an Amiga version of this. Don't play that, it's just as bad. Okay, oh my goodness. Now you may notice, the further you get to the right, the closer you get to the edge of the screen. Oh, no, up. Oh, my goodness. The problem there is sometimes enemies come from the right. OK, that's level one. And what fun we had. Now you get the bonus game, which you can understand what's going on. But um, the idea is simply to spray over somebody else's graffiti. <laughs> so he's supposed to be some sort of great artist. And all he does is find childish graffiti and then spray what looks like fake snow over it. <laughs> and this goes on until all those spray cans in the bottom right run out. <sighs> Do you know how much this game was on its release in 1987? 
25 pounds. <laughs> Using RPI to bring that up to modern amounts, that's 19 trillion American dollars. <laughs> This is one of, this is seriously one of the most expensive games released for the Atari ST. And I'm just going to stand here till the paint runs out, because I kind of wish I was dead. Um, uh, the score goes up if you're covering blue, not if you're covering another colour. A bit of technical information for you there. Also, if you look at the life... Oh, it's gone there. I was going to say, look at the life meter in the bottom left. It looks like the man's been boiled. <laughs> so, level two. If you thought level one was fun, well, you probably weren't watching, but... Steve Martin from Roxanne there. Right. So we're going to go along and run along the bottom as before. Ah, this is much easier. Dum -dum -dum. I don't know how the old man is firing rockets out of his knees, but uh, <laughs> not something I've ever seen. Oh, 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 look! You got near the right-hand side of the screen, a horrifying racist caricature came on and I exploded. <laughs> and there's no way of seeing what's going on. It's one of the most poorly designed games, and they could have almost got away with it if it was like two pounds or something, but 25? I mean, a car cost like eight pence in those days. <laughs> Deary me. Right, I'm going to attempt to uh, quit this, and I hope I'm successful. Uh, let's just take a moment to enjoy life without Graffiti Man. That's beautiful.